Are you ready to take the leap into business ownership but don't know where to start? Are you overwhelmed by the choices or uncertain about what your next move is? Let me just tell you, you are not alone. Many first-time business buyers face the daunting challenge of identifying a suitable business. And this fear, the fear of making the wrong choice, can be paralyzing leaving you stuck in a sea of opportunities. Completely unsure of which one to pursue. Buying a business is very straightforward when you know how. This video is for people who've never bought a business before. I'm gonna lay out the main steps you need to know so you can buy a business successfully. But first, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and tap the notifications bell so you get alerted whenever I release new content on buying a business. So number one, understand your options. Decide what type of business you should buy. Here's what you should consider. You gotta consider factors like size, complexity, and industry. Ask yourself how big or small you want to go and whether you prefer something simple or more complex. Here are 10 kind of things you should write down what you wanna see in the business. One location. Do you want a local business you can manage closely? Or are you open to businesses in other regions or even online? Two, industry experience. Do you have industry experience in that industry? Buying a business in a field you know can reduce the learning curve and increase your chances of success. Three, consider the business model. Do you prefer a franchise with, do you prefer a franchise with a proven system, a retail store with regular foot traffic, or service-based businesses with repeat clients? Four, financial health. Examine the financial health of the potential businesses. Look for consistent revenue, manageable debt, and profitability. That's the big one. A business with strong financials will be easier to finance and less risky. Five, growth potential. Think about the growth potential. Is the business in a growing market? Are there opportunities to expand the product line or customer base? Number six, lifestyle fit. Consider how the business fits in your lifestyle. Will it require long hours, significant travel, or type of work you're passionate about? The right fit will keep you motivated. Seven, staff and operations. Evaluate the current staff and operations. Is there a strong team in place or will you need to hire and train new employees? Efficient operations can ease the transition for you. Number eight, risk level. Assess the risk level. Some industries are more volatile than others. Choose a business with a risk level you're comfortable with. Nine, competition. Analyze the competition. Is the market saturated or is there room for your business to stand out? Understanding the competitive landscape can help you strategize better. Next, you gotta find the right business and where do you look? Where do you look? You can look at on market through business brokers and listing sites like Biz Buy Sell, that's the big one on the market or go off market by directly approaching business owners who might be ready to sell. Or you can go to my website, dealflowsystem.net forward slash top 100, where I list the top 100 sites to buy business. Or you can click on the video in the comments below for how to find a good business for sale near you. On market options are great for seeing what's available and the price they're selling for. Off market, it's a business not for sale, often give you more flexibility and better terms. You gotta use networking and industry context to uncover these gems. But set your expectations. You gotta be talking to a lot of owners, kissing a lot of frogs, I'd say about 100 businesses before you find the right one. When you do, compare multiple businesses to each other to understand their value better. Remember, your goal is to find a great deal that works for both you and the seller. Next, make an offer. Once you find a business, it's time to make an offer. Ensure your offer is something both you and the business cash flow can afford. 
you can negotiate terms that work for both parties. Be prepared to adjust your offer based on the business's financials and your ability to secure financing. Next, get financing. Getting financing is a crucial step. You can consider debt financing, such as an SBA 7A loan, which is offers rates and terms for business acquisitions and secured by the government. Or alternatively, you can look at equity financing, where you can bring in outside accredited investors who can provide capital in exchange for equity in the business. And don't forget about seller financing. Often the seller may be willing to finance part of the deal. Combining these options can provide a robust financing strategy. Next, close the deal and get ready to run it. Closing the deal is all about ensuring all the legal and financial paperwork is in order to prepare for the transition. You should, and my advice is, bring in an attorney and an accountant. These are people who will find the skeletons in the closet in this business. They could save you from overlooking something, wasting a lot of money, or a bad deal altogether. I have some good people you can reach out to here. Next, get ready to run that business. Have a plan in place for taking over operations smoothly, whether you're hands-on or hiring a manager. Remember, you're buying a business, not a job. Set it up so others can work in the business while you work above the business. After offering this, are you still excited about buying a business? If so, go to my website at dealflowsystem.net where I have lots of resources, coaching, and a community to help you out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.